direction. But where do you see in five to ten years AI and radiology playing out? In the next ten years, we're going to have a robust amount of tools built. Some will be good, some will be bad, some will be okay. The good ones will still have problems. The bad ones will have a lot of problems. There's going to be a price difference between all, th all three, good, bad, ugly. And then in 10 years, radiologists will be using it in some method or some way. It'll be like 75% of people will be using it, 25 will not. Right now, it's probably 5% of people use or 10, let's say 25% of people using it, 75 not. I think that's going to switch in 10 years. But the handoff is going to be 20 to 30 years. So I think it's a further ways away because number one, so if these tools the aren't sophisticated. Completely becoming an automated. Completely autonomous. And I think eventually what will happen is one will go and it will slowly ramp up. So eventually chest X-ray for tuberculosis in sub-Saharan Africa will not be read by a radiologist anymore. Then it may become the X-rays in 10 years which are fracture or no fracture, right? However, it may miss a tumor, but fracture or no fracture, at least we'll see quickly. I think the, the sophistication of X-ray is easier to do. It's one static image or three yeah. static images. MR is 90 DICOM images, yeah. very different. So the sophistication needs to be there. So the handoff will be very slow for MRI.